he is eating an apple he is eating in the garden the verb eating in the first sentence is transitive verb and verb eating in second sentence is intransitive verb why one is transitive and other is intransitive verb and what are actually transitive and intransitive verbs it will be discussed in this lecture in detail watch this video till the end to make your concept completely clear hello everyone this is fazal rabi welcome to my youtube english learning channel so let's get started first let us discuss some important things that are subject verb object in a sentence these are important to have knowledge over transitive and intransitive verbs now let's understand it through examples asim is kicking the ball who is the doer of action asim so the doer is subject and what he is kicking are who is receiving the action the ball so the ball is an object and what action it receives kicking so kicking is the verb now as you are clear about subject verb and object now let us discuss transitive and intransitive verb first what is transitive verb transitive means to transfer to transit as the action of verb is transport to object it is a verb that requires an object to receive the action so it needs an object to receive the action it will be clear through examples please bring it looks obscure and incomplete please bring what we have no idea what to bring to give a complete sense to it it needs an object for example please bring a glass of water here the sense is complete a glass of water is what they ask so here a glass of water is an object which receives the action bring another example she ate what she ate sense is not clear she ate a chocolate a chocolate is an object which receives the action of eating which makes it clear that the chocolate is going to be eaten you should note it down that some sentences may have more than one object there are two types of object that are doric object and indirect object a sentence which gives answer to what is doric and which gives answer to whom is indirect object for example sidra gave me a gift here it gives answer to what what she has given a gift so a gift is a direct object and to whom she has given given to me so me is indirect object and in this sentence if i say sidra gave then it is obscure and not clear given what then again if i say sidra gave me again it is not clear sidra gave me what but if i say sidra gave me a gift or sidra gave a gift to me then its sense is clear that sidra has given a gift so gave here is transitive verb one more thing for transitive verb only object is not necessary but doric object is necessary if i say sidra gave me here the sense is not clear if you are told what sidra has given then the sense will get clear now here are some verbs which are purely transitive verbs for example hit make take bring carry climb give etc now let's discuss the intransitive verbs 
the verb used without object is called intransitive verb for example driver is laughing here we have no object but the sense is clear that he is laughing so it is intransitive verb john runs fast here again we have no object with run and sense is completely clear that he run fast here word fast is not an object but it is an adverb now take another example please stand up here we have no object and sense is clear so stand up is intransitive another example he goes to school here again verb goes is intransitive because we have no object after goes and the sense is clear note that to school is not an object but it is a complement here are some verbs which are purely intransitive means no object will accompany it for example come go sit run cry die live laugh stay sleep etc now there are verbs which can be both transitive and intransitive depending on the situation when they have a direct object then they are transitive if they have no direct object then it is intransitive note that in both cases the sense will be clear for example the bell rang loudly here we have no object but main verb rang and the sentence has the complete sense so the verb rang is intransitive verb now make a slight change in this sentence the police rang the bell then the bell is an object with verb rang so here verb rang is transitive so once the verb rang was transitive and in another condition it was intransitive another example teacher speaks too loudly here speaks is intransitive because it has no direct object and if we write it like teacher speaks the truth so here teacher speaks what the truth which is object to the verb speaks so speaks here is transitive another example the glass broke here verb broke has no object so it is intransitive but if i say he broke the glass what he has broken the glass so here it is transitive some people believe that the verbs like eat beat read play etc are purely transitive verbs that it should have direct object but it is not 100% correct it can also be transitive and intransitive depending on situation for example he is playing here playing is an intransitive verb because we have no object after it and the sense is clear and further if i say he is playing in the field then again were playing is intransitive verb because we have again no direct object here and sense is clear but if i say he is playing football here we have an object after verb playing which makes it transitive another example i eat verb eat has no object and sense is clear so it is intransitive but if i say i eat rice then rice is object which makes the verb eat transitive same is they read intransitive they read newspaper it becomes transitive here another question arises the helping words can be transitive or intransitive for example he is playing or he is playing football here in both sentences we have used helping verb is so keep in mind that only main verbs can be transitive or intransitive 
helping verbs cannot be transitive or intransitive now you answer me what is the problem with this sentence the thief climbed and then escaped think over it just focus on it yes this sentence is wrong because we have used pure transitive verb climbed without object the thief climbed but climbed to what it should be corrected by placing an object for example the thief climbed over the wall and then escaped it has made the sense clear so be careful while using the transitive verb object is necessary with it hope this video might have provided something new and interesting for your understanding if it has then do share it with your nears and dears thank you so much